Dr. Mark Changizi here with your Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about one of the issues with masks that too few people talk about. In addition to the fact that if you're asymptomatic, there's very little reason to wear a mask, and there's many downsides and harms to masks, some that we talked about before, and uh, they're particularly ineffective because viruses are spread via aerosols, which are smoke-like, and they go right around and through the masks and breathe right into the lungs. Another part of this that is very, um, very rarely mentioned is the degree to which those who wear them uh, suffer from extreme discomfort. It's highly uncomfortable to wear a mask. It's one of the most uh, common complaints. It's really uncomfortable, um, even in the short term. And it shouldn't be surprising that it's uncomfortable, given that prior to it becoming some new normal that we're supposed to wear, it was the kind of thing that in, in uh, S&M you know, videos, people might force their victim to wear something like this, right? And in fact, in Guantanamo Bay, these photos that caused um, lot, a big stir 15 years ago, in large part, it's because these prisoners, which were shackled, which of course prisoners very often shackled, but they had face masks on. And a lot of the drama that was around those photos was because of the perception of torture when people have face masks on. So why shouldn't it matter where in the calculus of all of this is the fact that you're forcing an entire population, and in this case much of the world's population, to wear something that is extremely uncomfortable? Now you can argue that there's still all the sides to be balanced, and of course that has to be. But the fact that each individual times billions is deeply uncomfortable has to be part of the calculus, and it isn't. But the even deeper part of this is that when you're uncomfortable, which is a kind of pain, it's a sign of something. We have pain for highly evolved reasons. Pain is good. The reason that we have pain is to signal that something is hurting us. The reason that we constantly shift our weight if we're sitting, and it's a kind of subtle pain that you don't even notice. You go, oh, yeah, this is a little bit hurting, I'm going to shift. It's to allow blood to continue flowing to all of your body parts. Someone who is unable to experience pain over time has long, if they, if they survive the actual things of getting cut off by the, you know, not having the, the pain sensors, they are often killed by a thousand cuts by virtue of these tiny little things that you're constantly not realizing that you're doing to be more comfortable because it's better for your body. So when you have something that is causing considerable discomfort, then the presumption should be, all things equal, that maybe this is in fact something for the body. The body evolved to not want this because it's bad. The burden of evidence is therefore on those who would wish to put something that makes you uncomfortable. And it's painful in a kind of broad sense. Because the, in the absence of any other information, something that is painful or, or broadly uncomfortable is something that's probably harmful. These are, something that, these are things that have not been considerably discussed in this whole debate and really ought to, ought to be. When you make an entire earthly population of humans wear something that's uncomfortable, it's not, not only is it the case that you have a billion times this uncomfort, dis, you know, uh, uh, negative utility, but it's probably much more than that because that pain is there for a reason. And that was your science moment.